Hello and welcome back to another Journeying G episode. This week, my vlog includes mindset shifts rather than my usual key takeaway segments. I am learning more and more about the importance of how our thoughts impact the outcome of our reality. It is a key aspiration of mine to keep working at welcoming more positive thoughts in my life. This Sunday was another anxiety-filled morning. Hence why I want to dedicate my energy to combine the weekly exploration with a novel mindset too. To begin with, the Sunday was different in the sense that I wanted to live up to two values of mine. One that honors my free time and the other that still ensures that I show up in my work environment with integrity. So, I went to an area which I already knew and adore Kensington High Street. The first mindset shift here included not beating myself up for not discovering something completely new. Rather, I encouraged myself to embrace the journey because the alternative of my comfort zone would have been staying at home and not commit to an adventure at all. Just a representation of how illogical our own imposter can be. Am I right? Another mindset shift was inspired by a podcast episode I listened to the night before. In there, the person mentioned how to fight mental health struggles. Confirmation bias sometimes is the way to go. So, on the morning of my journey, I told myself what a blessing it is to be alive and that I will have a wonderful day. What this did is that I pushed through my negative thoughts and went out of the door of my comfort zone with a banging outfit in the process, if I may say so myself. The last reminder and mindset shift I would like to share is the daily reminder to aspire good enoughness. I know, it is a hard one for those out there that believe that only 1000% is what will get us to our goals. And whilst I agree that healthy striving can be productive, I would also like to remind you that the magic often lies in the messy and small middle of the journey. To me, that meant this Sunday to trust my abilities and let life teach me where my future steps will lead me in a personal matter. What about my journey to Kensington High Street? Well, the trip included the compulsory visit to Whole Foods, which as always is something that excites me tremendously. And coming back to my earlier point about confirmation bias, the day did turn out wonderfully. How? Well, turns out that I don't know Kensington High Street that well, since I stumbled across Holland Park by surprise. I wanted to go there for a long time, but haven't searched up the travel information. So, in a sense, you could say that this was a god ascent when I discovered this park by chance and that my day did turn out beautifully. I mean, look at this nature gem in the middle of London's cosmopolitan district. I was surrounded by the beauty of flowers and people enjoying the sun with their loved ones. For anyone that is searching for an idyll in the middle of London's busy city, I suggest visiting this park. It is a truly stunning view. I then commenced into the Kyoto Gardens that are just in the middle of the park and saw a lot of animals such as a peacock just when I finished walking through Kyoto Gardens. Who would have believed that one can spot a peacock in London's busy middle of the city? Now over to you. What mindset shift can you take away from this mini-blog to help you towards a better outlook on life? Let me know in the comments and share it with people you think this message resonates with. Thank you for supporting my channel by giving it a like. 
the world needs more of your unique energy.